Hello, hello, welcome back to part 8 of Dying Light 2. Now before we start this video, I noticed that I forgot to include the opening video. I did not notice that either, because uh, I guess I must have skipped it. But I put it in front of this video, just so you guys could see it, if you care. If you don't, the video is about 3 minutes, so the skip 3 minutes in, and then the gameplay starts. But it might give some answers to questions you may have as to why we have the virus we have in the game but um yeah um i'll see you guys in a bit civilization is a vulnerable thing a whim of circumstance at any time the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion haran an entire city wiped from the map those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves, the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing, a city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. All right, hello guys, welcome back to another episode. I don't know which one this one is, but it's one of them. And we left off with the craftsman. Yeah, we have to talk to the craftsman. That's Sophie's mission. So let's let's do that. Oh, I can't jump over here, okay. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, uh, 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 Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, 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 hundred and twenty. Uh, uh, Hundred and <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Here I sell the Um, I think I've been there before, so we'll find out. We'll pick up this guy's quest as well. Oh no, oh yeah, okay. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. These guys all look the same. No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? 
Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Um, information. Let's go for Someone information. Like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. <laughs> need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives what a coincidence. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Alright, let's hope we don't have to memorize that password, but... Um... This is a side quest, although I think it ties into the main quest. So we will do that together as well. But we'll focus on the main quest right now. Oh, do I already get to talk to her? Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Is this guy mute or something? Barney? Answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. Fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. I think he's already dead. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before, in the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. 
Okay. Nighttime stories. I guess we jump right into it then. Okay. Man. Yeah, when Sophie, I came in here and I threw a paint tanks inside. in here. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. During the day. It doesn't look like there's fewer zombies now. I know, let's just get these crystals because they'll need them too. He's dead. Does he get my sword out? So if he wakes up, I can just chop his head off. Oh, he found his mushroom. Oh, it was too late. Okay. Get the weapon away. Oh, you can't cut his head off? Sophie, Tayden, I found a radio and a body. Male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Oh, cool. This is going to be fun. Went upstairs. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Is that going to be him? Oh, this guy's not fucking dead yet. You can break his neck twice, that's gonna be nice. Alright, I'm just gonna have some shrooms so I can get up a little bit of our immunity. Fuck, now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. Stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Would he not hear the radio? Seriously. Come out, your sister's worried about you. Stop acting tougher than you are. Come out or I'll make you. Yeah, just stop Whatever acting tougher you're than you to are. Whatever you're trying to prove, you don't sound so Fucking tough coward to coward hiding in a room. Hey, you sound like one of those little yappy dogs. Get lost and let me do what I need to do. Barney, I'll count to three. One. Two. 
free. Go the fuck away. You ain't getting a thing from me. Why, why don't we tell him that we don't want the fucking crystals? Great. Oh, very nice. Oh, and there's a whole army down there too, so now they're gonna wake up. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? This guy's bugged out. Gonna look real closely at his face. Like he pissed himself with blood. Anyways. Barty. Okay, that's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. But she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. Well, we'll You're find in them. no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. I'll look for him, exactly. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. What I'll stay here? The zombies in the wrong fucking room below him. Hurry! Why doesn't he just get out? Oh, I got a feeling this is, this is why he's gonna die. He should've just, uh... Come back with me. Are these guys gone from here? Oh, they are. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not gone at all. The collectible here. Oh, yeah, they're still here. All right. Can I kill this guy? Oh, and there's a crystal here, too. That's nice. I don't remember these crystals when I came here the first time. Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Hey. Just gonna run this. Hey, you find Birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? His name is Nathan, not crystals? Birdie. Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> It's my birthday today. Uh, and 
Can I ask a favor? You see, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. I just gotta. Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. Is that UV lamp flicker? I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's going out. Get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Well, let's chop off his head too. I mean, um, he can turn any time. Barney. Yeah, you can't chop this guy up either. Barney. Oh, isn't that yeah. weird? We were actually here to open his chest yeah, instead of just uh, trying to reach your brother. Barney's saved him. here already. Just arrived. He, what? He was supposed to. Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away. It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. All right, let's go back to the bazaar. Well, actually, we're gonna definitely have to kill that guy there. Let's do that. Oh, you come back. Oh, fuck, we have a chase too. We gotta run. I like the idea with these uh, screamers actually screaming at you. And the people running away, it's good. Can we make it? Oh yeah, we can easily. We'll just run back to the bazaar. I'm not gonna wait for the chase to end. If it does, it ends. That's fine. Am I going the wrong way? I am. Could maybe even save someone again. It's the same guy from last time. Oh, maybe not. Give him shrooms. You can't let this happen. I thought I was gonna die alone here. Well, thank you. The house is. What are those people doing, honestly? I I, I heard this guy from further away, and they're just like chilling there. Crazy. Oh, we got our shrooms back and our weapon. Nice, some honey. Cool. I like this game. I like the the movement. Oh, we can kill another another quick guy here. Do that. Where the fuck is he running? Oh, you kidding me? Fucking, I got a plate there. Guys, let's run. Pick this up. Stay away from me. Oh, oh. So where the fuck is the entrance to this big ass house? Oh, shit, too fast. Probably get high ground actually. Get 
inside, Aiden. Don't stay out at night. That's when the monsters come out. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. This guy's an idiot. These people are protecting them. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. All right, well, this is definitely not a community I'm going to help. Something you like in the bazaar? God damn it. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't <clears throat> negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so Doubt many problems it. plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning. She can't that even when protect her own brother. What the hell is she talking about? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He. He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. Well, that's what you think, he too. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. 
but Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Well, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna kill them. What the fuck is she doing? If that's an option, then we're just gonna kill them. Now let's see this. Okay. This is what I wanted. Very nice. We can get that. What's this too? That's useful too. Nice. This is gonna be useful as well. All right, we're all set. Sweet weapon you got there, Eden. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave that as an episode. I think we uh, did this pretty well, and uh, we'll continue. We're gonna do. You know, some old world folks recorded audio time capsules when they realized the side quest for this guy. You've traveled through the Assuming it ties into the to the main mission, we'll do that and pretend it's a main mission. What was that mission called anyway? Quest? This is, this is the one. Okay. This one's weird. Find Hans before... The hunter before he drinks the poison water. Well, I'm pretty sure he drank it because I have no idea when I got this mission. So I'm pretty sure like five days passed already. So he's dead. I don't know what kind of mission that is. And then we got this. So we'll do this mission in the next video. Because I think it's going to be important. Fine. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.